Hey, so I just unboxed a Badger 42cc leaf blower. Um, don't have much in terms of instructions. Walking through that, uh, trying to put it together was not much help. Um, so actually, I, I was better off just taking a look at the unit. And so uh, hopefully, as you see, you know how it's put together, you'll you'll get an idea as well. But I'll walk you through kind of my initial impressions with it, and then start it up as well. So you know, overall, good long extended hose, which I think is nice. Um, seems well built, seems pretty sturdy in terms of the tubing. The handle, you know, definitely plastic, uh, plastic feel to it. My only big concern here is this tightening device. It's doing a lot because it's holding the handle to the device, but that's also the weak link in, in terms of being able to move it. And this seems like a very small bolt that's going through there. And you have to, you're basically locking in, in multiple places. Even with the teeth there, they don't seem to fit as tight as I would expect. And I feel like I've cranked it down pretty good. So that's a bit of concern to me. Uh, the other thing that uh, was a bit of a surprise, you've got the backpack harness like you would expect, but I don't see a waist belt. Um, having a waist belt definitely makes it more comfortable and, and keeps it a little tighter. So that might be something I add later. Otherwise, in, by way of construction, um, seems about what you would expect. Um, this you know, is a little bit rigid here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't crack. You've got two you know, standard seals here that hold the arms on. They do give you a little bag of tools that come with it. Um, so I cranked it down with that wrench a little bit uh, just to make sure it was on there nice and tight. And then you've got these screws that are the same thing. You remove the screw, these twist into place, and then you insert the screw to keep it in place. I've not started it yet, but uh, pretty standard for what you'd expect back here in terms of um, what you find on a small, small motor. So nothing here to point out uh, at the moment. Uh, so I will crank it up and see how it goes. But uh, initial impressions, you know, uh, pretty good. I mean, especially for 159 straight from their website, I decided to go that route uh, because that was with free shipping. That was um, even a little cheaper or the same price as Amazon, but Amazon showed a much longer lead time. This only took uh, about four days to, to arrive, which was great. And it's about $40 cheaper than buying it at the Home Depot. The other thing I noticed that uh, made me go for it is it's got a six year warranty if it's residential use. So, you know, I figure with uh, with six years, I can uh, put it to work and uh, make sure it does what I need it to. So more to come in a minute.